God of darkness, the God of Yaqub, must die. And all of thy work shall be destroyed. And thy name shall be destroyed. That this race be no more remembered among the nations of the righteous. No longer remember the coming of God. Master Farad Muhammad to whom we praise forever, the mighty God, the mighty one that came out of the east to the west, found one among 17 million in that day. Give him the keys to every 17 million. And he said, now go, unlock whoever you unlock, I'll let in. Whoever you are remain closed, I will close. That's the man that met God. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the little lamb without a spot or blemish. Yes, the leader, the teacher, the guide. This man, I'll stand here and represent to you. His wisdom, his mind that he brought from God to teach and guide us into the hereafter. Every man and woman want to see the hereafter. Every creature want to see the hereafter. Do you think all of this is false prophet? Just because you love uh, uh, evil and hate good? Don't hate good. I know you love evil, but don't hate good. Here you, here you aching. God comes to Ease your pain. You say, oh, I want to go. Where he is, I'm telling you how to get there. I'm telling you where there's no more sickness, how to get there. Where you don't have to take no more pills, how to get there. Where there's no more hospitals, how to get there. You mean to tell me you don't want to listen to this? Man, you need to be hung up by your toenail. You're crazy as hell. You must be less than human. But let us look at this. But there's a lot of you that is out there. You want to go. You want to be a part of what you're hearing. And I say, go to the nearest temple under the leadership of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. There you will find this kind of teaching. And if you don't, run to the hills to another one. This is the day that God is present. He is with us, bringing about a change. This is not the first time that a new change has come into effect among a people. Take, for instance, 6,000 years. There was a change coming among the righteous people. Yaqub brought a change among the Arabs. Yaqub brought a change among the black man. He brought a change. His change was not for good. His change was to shorten your life. His change was to divide you up in the camps. His change was put you in camps, cut the earth up so that you won't know it, put brother against brother, then rule them with your wisdom, what Yaqub give you. Rule them in your civilization. This the white man have done. He have whitewashed the mind of every Negro you can find. He have whitewashed the mind of most black Africa you can find. Why? They lend their ear 
to a liar and a deceiver. They lend their ear to a murderer. They lend their ear to a kidnapper. The kidnapper put one brother to sleep, the other one he killed outright. That's you and I here in America. That's why. Let us look at this. There's something in the Bible that teaches us about this man. Remember now, we talked about earlier about Noah and the 600 years. But let us look at this. There is a connection here that the average person didn't catch it, but God revealed it to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and we got it. And now we will explain it to you. But let us look at it. Here the man was having a number. He have a number. And the number in his head, they say, was 666. They say the dragon, that old serpent, that, 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 that antichrist, they said he have a number, and his number was 666. Let us look at this. In the book of Revelations, in the Bible, it teaches us the enemy number is the same as the number of the black man. Uh-oh. The enemy have a number of six, but the difference between his number six and our number of the black man six is that the enemy time of ruling is of a short duration. While the black man can look proudly, indefinite, infinite time in his history. Let us look. He makes all things new. Who is he that he is to go and make new? Who is it that comes after the, the time of the wicked God and the wicked ruler. Who? Who coming? Who is it? Who is at the door? Who is knocking? What you want? Your time is up. You've been living here for six days. This, this is seven. Can I, can, can I pay you? Can, no. There's no more time given. Come out. I am here. If you don't come out, I will throw you out. Okay. I'm coming out. Why? The new God of righteousness is here. So when the man saw the number six that the Bible gives him, count the number of a beast, for it is the number of a man. It's the number of a man. It's not the number of a beast. It's a man. But he gives the beast because the nature of the character of the sick, he have the nature of a beast. That he loves to destroy things. He loves to uh, see blood coming out of it. Like the white man. He don't kill things because he's hungry. He goes and kills the elk, the elk. He kills the deer. He kills the bird. Not because he's hungry, because he likes to see things fall out of the sky. He likes to kill things. He does, it's just in his nature to kill. If he can't find something must have killed, he go and, and make war with his brother in Europe. 